Hey guys, it's Joey. Thank you for joining me today. We're going to be reviewing the latest M. Night Shyamalan movie, Trap, which is in theaters now. I just got back from watching it. Uh, really great cast. Josh Hartnett, Ariel Donahue, Saleka Shyamalan plays Lady Raven, who's the singer uh, throughout the movie. The Taylor Swift-esque Eras tour kind of vibe going on with the singer. Uh, essentially, the movie's about Josh Hartnett, you know, there's they're they're looking for this butcher guy. They they have the whole this whole arena in Philly on lockdown. They're looking for this serial killer, uh, and things begin to devolve from there. Josh Hartnett, spoilers, is the butcher, and they're trying to trap him. And they're pulling apart all these kind of guys in their thirties, forties, fifties that could be uh, the butcher. There's like FBI and SWAT everywhere, police, every kind of law enforcement all over the place in this movie and let's get into why I think this movie was a complete disaster. So, <laughs> so the movie essentially takes place mostly the majority of it takes place during the lady Raven concert, Josh Hartnett's daughter um, played by Errol Donahue. Riley uh, is really into this artist. She wants to go see her in concert so he takes her to uh the lady lady raven concert and then he slowly finds out from let's see if i could get him up from this guy right here that they are looking for somebody called the butcher and this guy is all into kind of the true crime thing and he's talking to cooper which is josh hartnett's character about you know they have this place on lockdown they're looking for this guy he's somewhere in the building and they're going to get him. And then there's this whole thing with, there's like a whole weird thing about Cooper's mother. That's not really explained. Then there's like this FBI profiler lady that like knows how to spot, um, a serial killer. They know that he, she knows their mannerisms, stuff like that. She's like a savant. Uh, but again, that stuff isn't really super <laughs> established. Yeah. Haley Mills, Dr. Josephine Grant, uh, some of that stuff, isn't super established. So let, let me go into some of the stuff I enjoyed about the film before I get too far into my real thoughts on it. So I, I gotta say, doing the best they could with what they had, the acting was solid. I enjoyed the acting. I enjoyed Josh Hartman. He played very uncanny. He played very bizarro, weirdo dad, serial killer type. Ariel Donahue, the daughter, um, was very earnest and, and and did a fantastic job. Uh, M. Knight's daughter, I mean, she's, I don't know if she's trying to break out into acting or what, but not not my favorite performance in this. It was a little stilted, a little dry, but I guess she is a musician, so that makes sense. And Allison Pill uh, is also in this movie. She plays the mother, and she was great. I mean, but, I, you know, I'm a big fan of Allison Pill. Great job. Uh, as for M. Night, I think this movie was complete. I, I like M. Night as he seems like a cool dude, but as a, this was a mess. Pacing, mess, style, barely there. Uh, overall vision, I this was the most paint by numbers, like tropey serial killer movie I've ever seen in my entire. It took every obvious trope and threw it into this movie. I don't know what was interesting for M Knight outside of propping up his daughter as like this Taylor Swift esque kind of pop star. I mean the songs were alright. <laughs> the song I mean it's not my thing. I'm not you know, but other than that, plot, story, kind of motive is all really <laughs> it's hard to skate around this. It's really bad. Really bad dialogue, really like uncanny, stilted, which I guess is the point. It's like trying to be very lynchy, but not without, there's no charm to it because there's no foundation to it. So it seems like these characters are just stick figures kind of talking to each other. There's a weird kind of plot about the daughter being bullied at school and him being like, the whole thing is like a father daughter thing, which obviously M. Night directing his daughter. And then there's the father, daughter, father being a serial killer, da daughter not knowing about it, but loving the kid. There's a whole thing with that going. Great. But I, I just, the logic in this film is a complete 
complete disaster. Nothing really makes sense. There's a, a lot of the stuff that I don't know if it was supposed to be funny played for laughs in the theater. Um, I mean, a lot of it got laughs, and some of it is obviously funny. Some of it's definitely a joke, and that there was a lot of beats that were pretty funny. But this, I don't know what this movie was supposed to be. I don't know if it was supposed to be like we're supposed to be really interested in this guy. He's supposed to be like crazy but enticing. We're supposed to be on his side, or we want them to. Ca- I don't know how we feel about how we're supposed to feel about uh, the butcher. Uh, there's not really. There's not really, like, a twist either. There's no twist, I would say. Uh, It's kind of fairly narrow. You could see where it's going. He's almost like... He's also almost like a weird savant. They kind of go into him being a little OCD. Stuff like that. It's it's really mind-boggling to to know what they were really going for uh, in this one. I've had a few at-bats with M.I. Chama. I always give him another chance... Because I th- I've seen him do good stuff before, so I'm always waiting for him to come back out and give us something uh, worthwhile. But this this wasn't it. This I I think this was a complete disaster of a movie. On Letterbox, I gave it half a star. I just don't know what there is in this movie that is to be enjoyed in a serious manner. If you go into this movie expecting it to be silly and not really. Th- like terrifying or thrilling or anything at all and you kind of want a silly like little let's see if the bad guy wins kind kind of movie then you might enjoy it but the way they framed this movie the way they sold it in the trailers was that this is going to be like some crazy thriller that takes place in a theater um and this guy might go around killing a bunch of people at the at the theater or something the trailer was great the trailer did a good job it sold the movie i obviously paid for a ticket and then I couldn't wait for the movie to be over. That's just how how I feel about this movie. I just don't think this movie was any good. I, I kind of wish I could get my, my money back. It's really, really disappointing. I, I, I think I'm done with M. Night Shyamalan. I, I, don't, I, can't, I can't support it anymore. I mean, he, do, he pays for these movies with money out of his own pocket. He funds it. They make a lot of money, so he'll probably make more. But as a viewer, I think, I think I'm done. I'm, I think I'm done with that nice show, honestly. I don't want to be, and I'm never super critical on this channel. I like to give things, you know, their due, and I like to kind of give both sides. But this is a movie where I could not wait for it to be over. The second the credits hit, I jumped out of my seat, which is, you know, I'm usually, I like to sit with things. I, was, I just wanted to leave. I just wanted to get out of the theater. It was just not a good experience. I did not like this movie at all. Uh, again, actors, fine. They all did fine. They did their job, and I think they did a good job. Josh Hartnett was uncanny and funny and, and completely goofy at times. But this movie ended. The ending fell flat. The whole plot fell flat. The weird thing with his mother didn't make any sense. They didn't really build up anything. And they wanted to. They wanted you to feel some kind of emotional beats with some of these things, but they didn't give you anything to get there. It's kind of like inferred that you should feel some kind of it it just technically a mess writing a mess directing a mess things were just so fragmented and messy and illogical and way too silly even for my liking so i don't know let me know what you guys think if you saw this movie i again i don't mean to be so negative and critical but this movie was just not good and i think um if you're looking for something else you're not going to looking for a thrilling like kind of horror scary something in this movie you're not going to get it it's very goofy and very messy (laughs) and not not in a good way so those are my thoughts let me know what you think if you saw the movie if you're gonna see it still if you're new to the channel subscribe would love to have you for more of these reviews and uh until the next one hopefully the next movie is better i'll see you next time thanks guys